Well, there's a big Georgia football fan, Bill Goldberg, of wrestling fame, leading the Georgia Bulldogs out onto the field. Of course, the Gators had Ric Flair a couple of weeks ago at the, the swap, so I don't know who gets the advantage there, but... <laughs> for the Bulldogs. Carter's got his man Small. And Small has stopped short, then the ball is fumbled. And it looks like Florida's got it. The Gators have recovered it. What a huge play by Florida's defense. It looked like they were... And Hap Hines kicks it. He missed it. Oh, it was uh, off target from the get-go. Off the foot of half Hines and the kick is no good. A big break for the Florida Gators and they'll take the football and Georgia gets nothing. Play takes too long to develop. And snap Johnson trying to make a play out of it and he does to Alex Willis as Willis is out of bounds at the 27. Play takes too long to develop. Snap Johnson trying to make a play out of it, and he does to Alex Willis as Willis is out of bounds at the 27. It bench that 17 point lead. The give is to Capel on the end around. He throws it back to McGriff. Doug Johnson is open at the goal line, and he pulls it in for the touchdown. <laughs> There's Razzle a dazzle at his finest. There's a trick for you on Halloween. <laughs> There is a flag, it'll be for uh, too much celebrating, but Doug Johnson probably doesn't care too much about that right now because he just made his first touchdown reception. And and Travis McGriff has thrown another touchdown pass, his second of the year. How good is it to have a ex-quarterback as your star receiver when you can run a reverse, flanker around, double reverse, pass, back to the quarterback as he's wide open. Watch the short catch by Doug Johnson. Just a minute later there at the 20 of Florida. He wants to get to Larry Brown the ball, and Tony George has it for Florida. George stepped in front of the Georgia tight end and picked it off at the 10-yard line. Second and nine, cut back by Gillespie. 
He ran right past somebody. And Gillespie finally dragged down at the 40-yard line by Kirby Smart. Those opportunities, it is a big difference in the ballgame. A deflection and an interception for Manuel. And then he fumbles the ball. And I think Georgia got it. Marquan Manuel got an interception, and then he got hit from behind. And the Bulldogs get it back. Have... I'm telling you, that kind of play, it's more the surprise than anything else. And there's a fumble. And Tico Brown pulls the ball out of the air. Chris Terry pursuing from behind, and Brown is tackled at the seven-yard line of Georgia. Well, Tico Brown was able to grab it out of the air. Winding down at Altel Stadium, Larry Rehart, the quarterback. Florida has recovered a fumble. They are first and goal at Georgia's nine-yard line. And the give is to John Capel. The speedster to the five, and he races into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. They tack on six more. It is 37-7 with 38 seconds to play in the football game. There you see the scene at Altel Stadium. The Florida Gators, 38-7. Coach Steve Spurrier joins me now. And see, maybe the most complete performance of the year for the Gators. Oh, I don't know, Larry. This game could have been a lot closer. If Georgia scores right four half, starts second half, heck, it's 21 all. So we're fortunate to stop them down there a couple times. And uh, they're bowling our defense a lot better than anybody, I think, all year. But uh, we got some breaks, got some things going our way. And... Uh, Heck, somehow not end up 38-7. That first quarter offense looked like the Gators of old. Well, I thought, gee, we got a chance to really play a complete game like the old days. We had 21 the first quarter, had a chance to have 35 at half. We fumbled down here, and then Doug uh, throws an interception on a play. But uh, but anyway, but then they, they hogged the ball on us. Georgia had it about the whole second quarter and, and part, half, first half of the third. Uh, but we were fortunate. We made a few plays here and there. You come in here and you say, this is the number one game on the schedule. Well, certainly it, uh, it, it, it has been historically Florida, Georgia. We got to beat them to win the SEC. I almost would rather swap this win for one last year because if we won it last year, we'd had a shot in Atlanta for another championship. I don't know if we're going to get a shot this year. Steve, but thanks. Congratulations. Good, good to beat the dogs, of course. Gator coach Steve Spurrier, the Florida Gators 38-7 winners over the Georgia Bulldogs. Let's go back upstairs to David and Nat. <laughs> 